Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. Before going further, I'll show you from where you can find the other videos of React. I am showing you this because most of the time people are asking these types of questions. So here is the our YouTube page. Now click on the playlist. The first one you can see, so this is the playlist for React and Spring Boot. So when you click on this, you will reach to the playlist page. So from here, you can watch all the videos. Return back to home. Now click on the About tab. If you want to ask personally, then here is the email address. And if you want to connect with me in other platforms like GitHub and Facebook, then here are the links. In this video, we will see how to post data using Redux and React. So one important thing, if you have not watched our previous video, then please watch it. Because in this video, I am going to follow a similar approach. Here, you can see the application is already up and running. Just going through all the menus. Here you can see the user list page. User list we are fetching with the help of Redux. That is what we implemented in the last video. Let's start coding for this video. Here I did some modification like I created separate folder for assets. And here inside CSS folder I am keeping the style CSS file. And under components folder, I have created two folders, one for book and one for the user and keeping the related files. And based on these changes, I modified the path also in required files. If you remember in the last video, we added provider in app.js file for the user list. In this video, we will implement the post request. So for this case, we need to add a provider for book component. To add a provider for each and every component is not the right approach. So what should we do? Because we don't need to add provider whenever we modify any React component logic and add Redux code. Here is the solution. Now we will move the provider code from app to index.js. So let's open the index.js. Remove this comment. First, let's copy these imports. Now remove imports from app.js. See, here is the provider code which we added for the user list. So instead of using a provider here, use it in index.js. Now here, we are using provider directly for app component. Now, we don't need to add a provider for each and every component. See, now this code is simple. Before going further, just verify is everything working fine or not. Still user list is coming without any issue. Let's add one more simple change. So let's open user list JS. Here you can see fetch users method we are referring from user actions. Here I'll show you one simple way. So whenever we want to use any path from any action, then this will make easy to import. Let's create one JS file inside services folder and this will maintain all the actions related path. File name, let's say index. You can choose any name just to make it simple. I am using index. Here I am using the export star from user actions. Now let's see how to use this index import instead of user actions. So here instead of user and user actions, let's simply use index. Here we have only one action. So you are not seeing much difference. Just wait till the end. Then you will come to know the importance of this approach. Let's see now user list is working or not. Still it is working fine. Now close everything. Like I said earlier, this video is about the post request. So for the book component, we are submitting the post request from book form. So let's handle the post request scenario. Let's create the directory for book inside services folder. If you have watched the earlier video, then you will not face any difficulty to understand this video. Like user here also, let's create three files like book types, book actions and book reducer. Three files created successfully like user types here also let's add three constants for save like save book request save book success and save book failure 
here first import all the book types create the constants with a return for save book request save book success and save book failure now let's import the axios now create a method for save book here i am using export so we can call this method from the book component here input is book return the dispatch First, dispatch the save book request. Now, let's add Axios post related code. Here is the URL. The request body will contain the book. If there is a response, then dispatch the save book success. And here, pass the response dot data. If there is an error, then dispatch the save book failure and here pass the error. I hope this code is clear for you. Now let's add code for book reducer. Import the book types. Create constant for the initial state and here initialize book and error. Add export at the end. Add a switch statement for action type case 1 for save book request then copy the state using these three dots syntax case 2 for save book success then get the payload from the action and assign it to book case 3 for save book failure then get the payload from the action and assign it to the error and for the default case just return the state the required code changes are done for all three files now let's open the root reducer so like user reducer, add book reducer also. Now let's add one more export for the book in the index file. So like two, we can add any number of path. Now let's open the book.js file. First here, let's import the connect from react redux. And import say book from index. Now remove this export default from here and use at the end. Now like user list, let's add two constants. First one is map state to props. And the second one is map dispatch to props. Pass these constants with the help of react redux connect function. Add return in both the constants. Here, in case of dispatch to props, let's call save book function and pass the book. And in case of state to props, let's assign the response into a saved book object. See, the save book is nothing but this save book method from the book action. Okay, these changes are done. Now, let's modify the save related logic. See, here is the post method code. Let's comment this. Now call save book method using props. Pass the book constant. Now use this response code and modify accordingly. So instead of using response, let's use saved book object from props. This code will not wait for the response and execute the next line immediately. So let's add 2 millisecond timeout delay. Let's check now, is save working fine or not? Here, to get the request details, let's open the readme file. See, here are the requests. I am using the book details from this file. See, it is working fine. See, here is the saved record. Let's add some more records. See, record saved successfully. See, here is the saved record. See, things are working fine as per the expectation. Let's review whatever the changes we added till now. If you have any doubt, then please watch the previous video.
I checked in my changes. I'll show you from where you can find these. See here are the changes. I hope this video is helpful for you. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.